Hey friends, welcome back to Ball Homestead. My name is Beverly and I'm so glad you're here. Today we're gonna work up some strawberries. Um, I ordered two flats. Today I took care of one of them at work. We made a bunch of pies and strawberry shortcake and all kinds of yummy goodness. But I need to get these ready to make jam and jelly. Tomorrow, whenever I get in, I'm planning on making strawberry jalapeno jam and strawberry jam and making a bunch of it because I do sell some jams and I haven't done it in a while. And I like to do my jams when whatever I'm making is in season so I get good fresh fruit and it just makes the product so much better. So that's kind of my goal is to whatever's in season make some jams, sell those. I'm gonna make a few loaves of homemade bread to go with those jams, not today, but whenever I do the jams and I'm going to have those for sale along with jams and jellies. That's the plan anyways, we'll see. I'm really trying to talk my husband into making me a roadside stand. I know I don't really have the time for it, but I think it would be fun to stock the little stand with new different stuff and see what people like and see what, um, you know, they enjoy about things that you make on your homestead. I just think it would be fun. Anyways, we're just gonna get these berries washed and sliced up and all that good stuff. And I also, the berries that I, I capped and done today at work, I planted all those caps in my strawberry bed. I'm hoping that I do get something out of it. There's a bunch of seeds at the top. I've never done it before. I just thought, well, I'm gonna either give these to the chickens or they're gonna go to waste. So I decided to just plant them and see if they come up. Um, who knows, we'll see. But we're just gonna get to cutting these up and getting them bagged up and in the fridge so that we have them ready and prepared to make our jam. starting to feel a little bit better. Um, I have really been feeling terrible. My allergies have been so messed up, but we did get a small amount of rain and I think maybe it knocked some of the pollen down. So that is a big help. I need to get a big bowl because this is going to be a bunch of berries. And if you see somebody snacking me <laughs> while I'm cutting these berries up, just mind your business. I am addicted to strawberries. I love fresh strawberries. They're probably my absolute favorite fruit. And I'm just gonna cap these and slice them up and put them in a bowl. Once I get done, I'll show you what all these berries look like. I believe I saw this on a reel. Instead of throwing your strawberry tops away to dehydrate them and powder them into a strawberry powder. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna do a tray, maybe three, two or three trays in my dehydrator and get those loaded up. All right, here's one tray. And from what I read, you just dehydrate them. And once they're really good and dry, you take a food processor and blend them up and then you have a strawberry powder. So we're gonna see. Worst things that could happen is I toss them to the chickens. So I've not lost anything. All right, I got the berries all cut up and ready. I'm gonna just wrap this up in some saran wrap and put it in the fridge. And tomorrow, whenever we, I get in, we're gonna make some strawberry jam and strawberry jalapeno jam. I did save two quarts to take to work tomorrow because there's a salad that we we offer. It's a strawberry mandarin salad. And I wanted to have some of these yummy, beautiful berries for that salad. I also got three trays of strawberry caps in the dehydrator and we'll check on those tomorrow. All right, friends, I wanna show you how to make a yummy, delicious, um, strawberry shortcake that everyone will love. Anyways, you're gonna take two pie crust. You can roll them out. They don't have to be perfect or anything like that. Um, and you're just gonna roll them out because you're gonna break them up so it doesn't matter if they're broken. You're gonna smother them with butter. Just take butter and smear all over these pie crust. 
Now you're going to take some cinnamon and sugar and put over the top of that butter. And we're going to bake these at 350 until they're good and brown. You don't want to overcook them, but you don't want to undercook them either. You want them a little bit crisp so they break when they're cooled. And now see how those are a little bit brown, but they're nice and crispy. So now we're going to make our strawberry shortcakes. <coughs> all we do is we're going to break all these up, these crusts up, and put into bowls. And then we're going to cut up all of our berries. And what I like to do also is kind of layer sugar in between the layers of my berries. So whenever, because I slice them and then I go back and I mash them up because that sugar just really um, just adds to the flavor of the shortcake. Then we're going to take our crust, get them in the bowls. We're going to top them with those berries and the juice from the berries. That also is really good to add in there. And then we're going to put some Cool Whip on it. And friends, let me tell you what. This is divine. This is a must-try recipe. All right, friends. It's the next day. And we are going to get started on our strawberry jalapeno and strawberry jam. We're going to get those berries kind of cooking down a little bit. Um, I'm going to pull the recipe out of the pectin and see how much sugar and stuff we're going to need. And we're going to get going. All right. We're going to get going on this. I have two pans here. And we're going to put 12 cups of berries in one of these pans for just our regular strawberry jelly. I have a two cup measure here. So, we're going to start filling this up. Two. Four. I'm going to double check this. This just seems like a lot. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong side. Now let's put jam. Eight cups of berries. Okay, that sounds better. Okay, so we got four in there. Six. And eight. And we're going to put, let's see, for strawberry, we need to put, I know it's like a half of a cup of lemon juice. So we're going to put that in there so that our berries, I feel like the lemon juice keeps the berries looking really pretty. Plus, I feel like it helps in the gelling process. All right, so we're going to put a half of a cup of lemon juice into our berries here. And we're going to turn these on and we're going to let them cook down because we want them to be nice and soft and delicious. All right, I'm going to look up the pepper jelly recipe because I can't remember it right off the top of my head and I found it online. All right, for the strawberry jalapeno jam, we need four cups of berries. Forward. We're going to put in a quarter cup of lemon juice in this one. And we got that burner turned on and we're going to start cooking our berries down. I may end up adding like a half a cup of water to each one. It just kind of depends on, um, you know, how they do. I probably could have cooked these down yesterday while I was in here cutting berries. But I probably have enough to do one more batch of each is kind of what I'm thinking. And like I said, I sell a lot of jam and jelly. So I'm going to take all this to work. I'm going to make some homemade bread in the morning. 
and um, I'm gonna set up a little stand in my little restaurant there. So we'll see if we can sell some jelly tomorrow. And of course I'll keep some for us because let me tell you, there is nothing better than homemade jam and jelly. Hot strawberry jalapeno is my absolute favorite. We also, for this recipe, need a cup of jalapenos. And I picked up some fresh ones because when I'm making stuff, I like to use the freshest ingredients possible. So we're gonna give these a wash and then we're gonna get our little mini chopper out because I like to do them small. And we're gonna get those chopped up. Let me read my directions because it's been a year since I've made any jelly. All right, for my recipe, I'm gonna get my immersion blender out and kind of blend these berries up because I want them smooth and delicious. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and add our sugar. With the liquid pectin, you add your sugar first, bring it to a rolling boil, let it boil for a minute or two, then add your pectin, and then you do another minute. That's what we're gonna do. But I'm gonna get my immersion blender out and we're gonna do these up so that these over here, I feel like are soft enough. So they're nice and smooth. I can remember how to do it. <laughs> there we go. I don't mind if there's a few chunks in it, but I don't want a whole bunch of slices in there, if you know what I mean. because last year I did not have very good results with my um, set right on my jelly with these, the uh, sure gel. That's why I bought the, the uh, Concerta this time. So we have one, I'm gonna turn that down. Two. Four, five, six, and seven. I might as well just dump the whole four pound ball bag in there. That's exactly what it was. All right, we're going to get that start in. over here for a second. It doesn't take long once you get all your berries cut up and, and stuff to make jam. That's what takes the longest is just getting all your, your stuff prepared. And to this one, we need four cups of sugar. So we're going to get another bag of our sugar out. Everything I bought today was just for our jelly making. So, we're gonna add four cups of sugar to it. There's one. And we're gonna wait for it to come to a bowl. I'm gonna get all my jars washed and ready to go and get my water bath canner filled and on the stove. So we're gonna do that in just a second. All right, get this all mixed in. I'm gonna make sure it's good and mixed and there ain't no big chunks of sugar in there. I'm gonna get it all good mixed and we're just gonna bring all this to a hard bowl. I'm gonna turn 
this one back on. I turned it off. I'm gonna do a little cleanup and get my jars washed and then we'll be back. All right, I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of butter to my jam. And I do that to help with foaming. It prevents some of that foaming um, that you get with, with your jelly and I always do it. Um, it really does help though because when I haven't had real butter and I've made it without it, it foams like crazy. But the butter really does help and I just wait till we're almost to that boil and I'll drop that butter in there. That way it kind of helps with the foaming. All right, we are almost at that hard boil here, getting really close. This one is two. All right, this is a boil that we cannot stir down, so we're gonna set our timer for one minute. Now we're gonna attempt to set our timer. Okay, one minute, then we're gonna start, or we'll uh, put our pectin in. Calls for two pouches of pectin. Some recipes just call for one, but this strawberry one, since it has so much strawberries in it, it calls for two. Once we get that timer goes off, we're gonna add this. We're gonna bring it back to a rolling boil. And then once that's done for one minute, we'll turn it off and ladle it into our jars. I've got our water bath canner going here and our strawberry jalapenos almost to temperature there. So I'm gonna get this first one in, carefully squeezing every bit I can out. And we're gonna get that stirred in. And then we're coming back to a boil and we're gonna add it for because I can stir that down. Okay, we're at one minute on this one and we're just gonna use one pouch in the strawberry jalapeno. Because it's about half the volume of the other one. All right, we're gonna set a timer. For a minute. All right, I'm adding my pectin to the strawberry jalapeno. We're gonna flip this one off because it's done. We're gonna mix that one in and we're gonna get our jars already over here and get them to label them in. I've got our water going, so we should be as hot as this by the time we get them all filled anyways. It's steaming now. You want your jars to be the same temperature or close to it so that you don't break your jars and jars is so expensive who wants to do that so anyways let me get my funnel here and dipper and we're gonna start filling some jars sidetracked and I overfilled that last jar so I gotta watch myself.
we got this part done. We're gonna get some vinegar on a napkin. We're gonna wipe our rims, put our noodle seal and ring, and the ring don't have to be new, but the new seal, and get them in the water bath cannon. All right, I've got me a rag here because I feel like that it'll do a better job cleaning them, and I've got my vinegar on there, and I'm gonna wipe these rings, and then I'm gonna get my seal, and my new seal and my new ring, get that on and get it in the canner. thoughts on that, leave it in the comments, and I'd love to hear what you have to say about that. If any of you use Pomona's pecan, give me your, you know, is it good, is it, does it uh, do well, has it got a good gel rate, because the sure gel does not anymore. Maybe I got a bad batch, I don't know. But, I can't afford to make and remake jelly. I mean, you're wasting the money if you do that. All right, it's over at the top of our jars. We're gonna get our lid on there, and these are at a boil, so they're gonna water bath for 10 minutes. I'm gonna set a timer. We'll probably do them for 12, just to make sure they're a good rolling boil. All right, now we're gonna slide our jalapeno jelly up here. Give it a good stir. And we're gonna get it ladled into the jars. I hope I have enough to wash. I'm gonna have to stop and wash some more. And I may not have enough jars to do this twice. Plus, I probably, I'll probably just uh, put the other berries in the freezer and make as we need it. Another thing I enjoy doing is making strawberry popsicles with our homemade or our berries every year. Um, I love homemade or strawberry popsicles like the fresh fruit pops. I bought me a mold for them. My grandkids love them too, and they're hardly any sugar in them. And they're on a hot day when you're out working in the garden, they are so refreshing. Got 
All right, now we're gonna do the same thing and wipe our rims with the vinegar solution, or vinegar, and uh, then we're going to put our ring, new seal ring, and when these get come out of the water bath counter, we'll put these in. That way I can keep up with uh, which one's which, too. I had bought some new jars and they had these rings and seals, but my favorite canning seal is the four jars canning lid. This is what I buy every year to use. I have the best success rate with them. I just hate it to waste the other, you know. But four jars is definitely my favorite. Every year when it gets about this time, I order some of, of each, the wide mouth and the regular mouth. All right, now it's just a waiting game. We'll wait when this gets done, we'll swap them out and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, our first batch is ready to come out. Set them over here on the bar so they can cool and have plenty of space between each jar. And one another thing, when you're making jam and jelly, do not get that hot liquid on you. It is like hot lava with that sugar in it. It will burn you bad. Just be very, very careful. But to me, there's nothing more satisfying than making my own stuff either to sell or for my family. Loaded back up and set it for another 10 minutes. See you in a minute. Alright, our strawberry jalapeno's done and I decided to go ahead and take the rest of those berries and I'm going to make another batch of that because it is my favorite jam. If you've never tried any pepper jellies, friends, you need to do so. Anyways, I'm going to show you our what we've gotten done this afternoon. Alright, friends, we got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 jars of strawberry jelly and 2, 4, 6, 7 jars of strawberry jalapeno. And I've got a double batch of strawberry jalapeno going now. I wanted to show you my pretty little eggs. I've been selling them. And I put them in these cute little cartons. I've got some regular cartons ordered, but they hadn't made it in yet. Anyways, thank you guys for, for stopping back by our homestead. Please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, friends. Goodbye.